नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन मल्टीसिम ट्यूटोरियल इन टुडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू यूज फंक्शन जनरेटर इन मल्टीसिम सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट्स बिगिन द सेशन To start to understand how to use function generator first of all let me tell you from where you can get the function generator on right hand side you can find instrument toolbar so this second instrument is function generator so click it drag it and place it so this is our function generator double click it so the window of function generator will pop up and you will find this much of varieties of inputs to the function generator now to observe the waveform we will get oscilloscope from the instrument toolbar so here we have the oscilloscope we'll just drag it and drop it if you want to learn how to use oscilloscope or a four channel oscilloscope then the link for that video is provided below in description box and the same link i am providing over here in the card so you can watch that video and learn how to use the function generator now let's connect the circuit there are total 3 terminals in function generator one terminal is positive the second terminal is common and the third terminal is negative later on i will tell you what is the use of all these three terminals but first of all what we will do we will use two terminal positive and common to observe the waveform so let's connect it positive terminal is connected to the positive of the oscilloscope and the negative terminal of oscilloscope is connected to the common on this negative and common terminal we need to connect a ground and to get the ground we need to go to sources and from sources click on power sources and you can get the ground from there click okay and here is the ground so connect the ground with this terminal double click the oscilloscope place this oscilloscope in this manner so now in function generator you have two options you can select waveforms among these three either you can select sine wave or if you want to select triangular you can select triangular or if you want to generate square wave you can select square wave from here the second is signal options in signal options you can set your desired frequency and you can select the desired unit if you want to go for hertz then select hertz if you want to go for kilohertz megahertz gigahertz or millihertz and microhertz you can select appropriate sub multiple unit from here the next is amplitude you can select the amplitude of generated signal from here it is vp value that means it is the peak value of your generated signal and the third is offset so now let me show you how these three quantities changing in these three quantities will result different changes in our signal so so now let me run this thing we'll just run it and we'll change the frequency to 50 hertz 50 hertz so now you can observe from here the frequency is 50 hertz let me reverse it so can you can observe it properly so you can observe the frequency is 50 hertz if i change frequency from 50 to 100 you can observe the difference in waveform so now the frequency is 100 hertz right now let me change the amplitude it is the peak amplitude and the scale is 5 volt that means vertical scale is 5 volt so this is 5 and this is another 5 that means the peak voltage is 10 volt so here the amplitude is 10 volt now if i change the amplitude to 5 volts you can observe the change in peak amplitude right now let me change the offset offset is in volts that means initially the offset of this signal is 0 volt if i change the offset to 5 volt you can observe the change in offset right now if i change the offset to 0 volts you can see the change in offset right so this is how 
the offset change takes place the effect in offset change looks like now we are going to understand the second one that is triangular view so just click this triangular and you can observe the change in the signal now in this triangular you can adjust the frequency amplitude and offset this three thing we have already seen but the one thing that we have not seen that is duty cycle so first of all let's understand how the duty cycle affects 50% duty cycle means it will take 50% time to rise the signal and 50% of time to reduce it to the zero value or to reduce to the original value if you change it to 90% that means you can observe the change in waveform 90% of time will be consumed to rise the signal and 10% of time to fall the signal if you change it in this manner if your duty cycle is 10% then 10% of time will be spent to rise the signal and 90% of time to reduce it to zero value so this is the real meaning of duty cycle in this thing now let's see now let's go for square wave just click on square wave and you can observe the change in the waveform the square wave looks like this if you reduce the duty cycle to 35 you can observe the waveform right further reducing the duty cycle up to 20 percent you can observe the change in the waveform of the duty cycle right if you increase the duty cycle we are increasing it up to 70 percent and you can observe the change in the duty cycle generally it is advisable to stop the simulation make the change and run the simulation right so this is how you can so this is the use of function generator and this is how you can use the function generator in multisim if you want to learn multisim in detail you just watch our description box over there i have placed the link for the playlist of multisim tutorial just watch that videos and learn the multisim bye bye